talk about this other movement that we see that's increasing and becoming very popular here in Babylon, which is homosexuality. Read that. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So when you're sinning, when you so-called sin, you're breaking the laws of God. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Uh -huh. Sin is the breaking of God's laws, my man. How you doing over there in the black shirt? Hey, if you got a minute, come talk to me, bro. Hey, why are you trying to wake up on people? I see you right there. Come talk to me if you got a minute, man. Yeah? This is, hey, this is the most important news you can eat all day. Read it again. We're talking about sin right now. How do we know what sin is? Read it. First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Uh -huh. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Did you understand today? If you're not keeping the Sabbath day holy by not working, not buying and selling, and not cooking, that you're breaking the Sabbath, you're breaking God's laws, that's considered sin? My man, did you know that? Give me Zechariah 7 11. Our people aimlessly, but they will one day listen. They will one day see that they did come across the prophets of God. Yes, bro. And they were bringing out the truth according to the Bible. How you doing, man? Arita. Yeah, oh, okay, all praises. What's this look? Come on up. What's your name? My name is Uh I go by Tia. Tia? Tibeta? Is that right, Tibeta? Okay, Tibeta, so listen, we're out here teaching nationality according to the Bible, right? So, give me uh, Isaiah 11 and 11, read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 11 and verse 11. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to recover the remnant of God's people which is the so-called Native Americans, Hispanics, and Blacks, the ones that went into the slave trade, Sub-Sahara, Transatlantic. Okay, read on. Which shall be left from Assyria. Uh, okay, now listen to the locations on where we're going to, to get these people, all right? Read. And from Egypt. And from where? And from Egypt. Uh-huh. And from Bethros. Uh-huh. And from Cush. Uh-huh. And from Elam. Uh-huh. And from Shinar. Uh-huh. And from Hamath. Do you know where these places are, man? Uh, yeah, read. And from the islands of the sea, uh -huh. and he shall set up an ensign for the nations, uh -huh. and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, uh -huh. and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Okay, so again, we're going to gather every, uh, God shows the people from the four corners of the earth. So you believe that your, your, uh, your ancestors were brought over here off of the slave, through the slave trade, right? Over the east, west coast of Africa right here. You see we got Africa right here? Yes, take a look. That's the West Coast. Uh, it's, not, it's not listed on this particular map, but it, that is Africa. All right, so, so listen. So the reason why we're out here is to, to reach the so-called Native Americans, Hispanics, and Blacks, all right? You would be right there where it says Isaiah 11, 11, the remnant. Okay? If your ancestors were brought here from the west coast of, of Africa, all right, on slave ships, you believe that, right? Okay. All right. Huh? You got that? Okay, so listen, sis, sis. So how do you know? You, you with me? Sis, you with me? Okay. How do you know that your ancestors were brought here over to America on slave ships? How do you know that? Huh? Oh, okay, okay. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 16. Uh -huh. The spirit itself bears witness. So your spirit right now is bearing witness to what we're bringing out. You understand that your, your ancestors came here. So we're trying to reach the God's chosen people. So God's chosen people were taken into captivity and brought over here, right? From, the, from Africa and from other locations as well. But Africa mainly. Read. The Spirit itself bears witness uh -huh. with our spirit uh -huh. that we are the children of God. So we are the children of God. You are the child 
of God. Okay? So being and knowing that you're God's chosen children or a child of God, guess what? There's something he requires of us. You got that? Deuteronomy 10, 10 and 12. Now listen to this because it's important that if we know that we're God's chosen people or God's child, there's something that we must do. We can't just walk around keeping and copying the customs of the place where we're at. We're chosen for a reason. We're peculiar for a reason. Okay, so listen, sis. Here we go. We're going to go in the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Again, we must do something. How y'all doing? Y'all coming to talk to me, right? Okay, okay. Hey, no, don't leave yet. I want you to hear this last scripture, okay, sis? Because there's something you must do. I can't let you go until you hear this. Read it again from the top. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh -huh. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord. Hey, so sis, listen. We must keep the commandments of the Lord. One of the commandments of the Lord is Deuteronomy 22 and 5. One of the commandments of the Lord I'm going to bring out, okay? I can't let you leave because your spirit identified that you are a child of God, right? Okay, we're only out here for the 12 tribes of Israel. It's important that I must show you this law before you leave. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, uh -huh. for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Is that it? So, sis, did you understand what that said? So, so it's, it's saying that a woman shall not wear what a man, what pertaineth unto a man. Do you understand what that is? What is it? Right. What, sis, what is it that a, that a woman wears that pertaineth unto a man? Day. Yeah, pants. it's pants, exactly, right? So the reason why I bring that out is because what we're doing is we're showing that we are separate, a chosen nation separate. We have different laws, statutes, commandments, customs that are different from Babylon, a.k.a. America today. And in order to truly repent and come back to our nationality, we must keep our God's laws. And that's what we're bringing out today. And my man, and so again, uh, did you get that, sis? Did you get, did you get that? Do you understand what we're saying? About, about, about the pants. You understand what we're saying about the pants, right? Okay. All right. So, sis, take heed. You got that flyer. Read it. And now we're going to address my man right here. How you doing, sir? Hi. My, my name is Simeon. What's your name? Ed. 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 Okay. We're out here trying to reach the so-called Native Americans, the so-called Hispanics and Blacks. We're trying to teach nationality, repentance, and laws, according to the Bible. This is not Christianity. This is actually what's in the Bible. You see men that are here dressed in purple and gold. We are examples of men who are keeping all of the laws of our God. That's right. All right? So you got any questions, first off, before I show you how we know that we're God's chosen people? Just keep going. Just keep going. Let's go. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Let's go to 28. And let's start off with 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay, so listen. This is the children of Israel. This is Moses, right? He led the children of Israel away out of Egypt, through the Red Sea, into the wilderness now, right? So Deuteronomy 28, this is Moses talking to those people, which are the God's chosen people, in the wilderness, all right? Read it again. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and the statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, now. Moses said that these curses will over, come upon you and overtake you if you do not listen to your God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's what he's telling them, right? So how do we know who we are today, who these people are today? Why? You, you, I didn't hear you. How do you know? 
I didn't even know, okay, we got to fit the curses, right? So we're going to go into Deuteronomy 28, we're going to go over some curses, and you tell me if this is, this happened to our ancestors, right? Our people, okay? Because not everybody can subscribe to these curses. Let's start off with uh, 32. Read. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Uh -huh. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Uh -huh. So again, at one point in our lives, were we ever, were our sons and daughters ever given to another people? No. So, Africans were enslaving okay. Israelites. Okay. Yeah. So, the, there's a common saying, there's a common, like, misconception that Africans were enslaving and selling Africans. No. It's like Indians in this part of the world were enslaving other Indians, even before the white man came over here. So, the Incas or Mayans were enslaving other Indian tribes, you know, that's what they did, American tribes or whatever, right? So, on, on that particular history that you're talking about, the Incas and the, and the Mayans enslaving each other, that I, I don't know the, the history on that. What I do know is this history about the African enslaving non-chosen people, the Israelites. Okay, Th those are two different nations. Okay, although we do have melanin and we're dark skinned, we're not the same nation. Right. So if in, in 70 AD, when Rome came into Israel, right, we were instructed to flee, right? Israel, that's where we were ruling, we are instructed to flee. We fled into Africa. Why? Because we could hide among the people who had the same color tone as we did, right? But those Africans knew, based off of us keeping our customs, that we were not of their nation. So they used Africans to point out and identify these are Israelites right here. So that's how we got gathered up and taken on slave ships and brought to what you see today. All of these destinations right here. South America, Brazil, you see all of this right here, right? We went to Jamaica, Cuba, and then over to the east the, the east coast of America. That's how we know. And so, again, we're here just to give you the truth, right? According to the Bible. That's, that's why it was important for us. Oh, read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. No. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Uh -huh. So a dog is everybody outside of the nation of Israel. Read. Against man or beast, uh -huh. that ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference between Egyptians and Israel. So again, the Bible clearly says that there is a difference between the children of Israel and the Africans. Okay? And so what we're, oh, we're only here to give you the truth. We're only here to show you if your spirit bears witness how we know who the 12 tribes of Israel are today. But let me look at this sign. Look, look, look at the sign right here, first off. On this sign right here, right? Do you, on, on the right side, you see what the Bible would call these nations. On the left side, you see what our oppressor would call us today. Can you find yourself on that sign? so-called Dominican Republic right. and the Hades in that island, correct. That, that they named it. Yeah. yeah. Who named it? Hispanolia. Because that was the, the original name. I don't know who named it, but in, in the Bible way back then, uh -huh. it didn't exist because those people wasn't over there until the Africans came to Haiti and started intermixing with, correct. The, with the natives. Now, it did exist. It was just no people there yet. Now, how about we go read that in the Bible? There was no what? People on this side of the earth, meaning that, like the, the island of Puerto Rico, right? The island of Cuba. They weren't there before, though. 
How about we get to read it out the Bible? Let's read it. Watch. The book of 2nd Edges, chapter 13 and verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king. This is King Hosea, right? Talking about northern kingdom. Because there was a split after King Solomon died. Saint king Solomon died, his son Rehobo, guess what? He treated his, uh, his people bad as a king. So there was a split. Read. Whom Salmanezer, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country. Now something happened. Guess what they do? Guess what the Assyrians did? They got the ten tribes of Israel and they took them to Nineveh, Goshen. They took them to, to where they uh, took over the land. When they were there, they brought other people, other races, and they put them in the land of Israel, the northern kingdom, uh, northern lands. So when they come back, when they came back out of there, there was already other races of people living there. You can read that in 2 Kings 17. and actually names the races. And guess what? Now guess what? They said, I know what you're saying. Well, how about this? We're reading Bible now. Reading Bible. History too. Watch this. And go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Never mankind dwelt. What is that? It's talking about here in this western hemisphere. Read. That they, may, that they might keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. For the, now is explained how they got over here. How did the 10 tribes of Israel get over here? Because the white man is saying that the natives, the Latinos, we came over here from the Alaska to, uh, from the Russian to Alaska, the Bering Strait. God says different. This is how God say we got over here. Bring it up. For the Most High then showed signs for them uh -huh. and helped steal the floods and they were passed over. Uh -huh. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely a year and a half. And the same region is called Arsuret. Arsuret. This is what I was called. I said a year and a half to get over here. This is how we got over here. Not only that, that we have document uh, documentaries, we got books. Why is it in these side of the earth there is a uh, Syrian idols there's the Babylonian uh, God there's a lot of things from this side of the earth why is that because the 12 10 tribes of Israel were worshiping other gods this is the Gentiles that you read in the New Testament we used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.